Hey, once again, it's Carlo with The Biggest Little Adventures. Uh, today I'm going to be installing these SW Motec cylinder guards for the BMW uh, GSA. One of the reasons I started this channel, as I've mentioned before, is sometimes there's just no installation videos uh, for products. And I thought, well, since I'm doing it anyways, might as well document it. This is going to be one of those cases. So I've searched and searched. There is no videos that I could find on how to install these. Uh, they're a little bit complicated on how to install and the directions suck, uh, as is normal with all SW MoTeC. So apparently I've been talking to myself because I didn't push the record button. Uh, so one of the things you gotta know about the crash bars is that they are attached to the engine. Uh, so you don't want to loosen up both sides or remove both sides at the same time. So this is what we're looking at to get some spacing because you can see there's really no spacing to install them. So this won't look the same on yours unless you have the skid plate, this little bracket here. Um, but the bolt's gonna be the same. So I gotta loosen up this bolt um, to loosen up this part of the engine guard. Then I gotta loosen up this bolt to loosen up this bar. Then I gotta loosen up this bolt in here to loosen up this part. And then I'll loosen up this and hopefully that gives me enough play that I could then slide those in. Okay, so it was way easier just to semi remove the engine guard crash bar than to try to work around it um, for this. Now, a couple things to know on this left side, or it's weird saying driver's side of the motorcycle, is you got in here the uh, radiator. Uh, tube so you gotta worry with this screw about be careful for that tube there um, you can see I also have this breather line here that's zip tied to the crash bar so I left this screw in here just so the weight is on the bolt and not the the uh, tube okay uh, so I put the remaining um, two screws in here just as placeholders so I know where everything goes. So this is sort of how it's going to fit on. You got a bolt that attaches right here and then this little spacer will go over this bolt like that and then this will attach um, here with another spacer. And then it looks like I'll have enough clearance because right here is where the rubber goes. So these are the awesome directions from SW Motec. And so basically, besides getting all the foamies on, which is this, you have um, this little piece of English here for all of that going on. And then this uh, two sentences here for all that going on. And I haven't been able to find any videos to help me out. So hopefully this will uh, help you out. This will be on the outside. Then, um, then the guard, and then this will go against the bike. And now for this part to replace that bolt there, same thing, you're gonna have this washer that's sort of indented and so it's going to go in like that then you'll have the spacer on the other side against the motorcycle to replace that screw there so next i got this little bolt with this washer that's sort of indented and the large spacer there are shorter spacers like that so you can sort of see that. So that is going to go through this hole into, okay, there. So we now have the uh, spacer in there, okay. We have a large spacer in here. This cap is over the bolt there, 
and then this is lightly screwed in. So I'm gonna get these all tightened up. Now I noticed this is one of the screws coming out and uh, there's no there's no remnants of thread lock. So I'm not gonna put any thread lock on there. Some of the bolts for the crash bars to the skid plate do require thread lock though. So I'll make sure I'll get those on there. You can see the damage I did. This isn't mud, this is scraping of the magnesium housing. Uh, when I crashed going down a scree slope. All right. Tighten this up. And we got this bolt. Righty tidy. We have this bolt here, this bolt down here, and this bolt on the side. And I'm just tightening them up, alternating. Uh, sort of like you would tighten a tire, just so they go uneven. Okay, so this side's going on much easier. Second time's a charm, I guess. So I removed this, this bolt here that holds on the crash bar. I removed the brackets from the alt rider, and then I removed the one screw there. So I got these started here. I made sure the little rubber cap is over the bowl. Got this screw, so you gotta remove the original screws, and then I'm on this one. This one's going in much easier, much more flush. Initially, it seemed like this one would be a little bit more difficult for me, but not the case. So I'm just tightening them up. The problem with having to loosen these up, it's a pain in the butt. This will fit, but the problem is this bolt here with, with this is too, too thick. So you can't, you can't tighten it without removing the uh, crash bar. So that makes this whole installation much more a pain in the ass. All right, we're just about at 28 minutes for removing the crash bars, or the lower crash bar at least, um, and installing this SW Motec guard a nice big, you know, rock or something like that right in here. Um, could damage these cylinder heads and the cylinder heads probably, I think I've read there about $800. So we'll see how these work. They're pretty sturdy. You can see how thick the aluminum is here. Pretty sure it was the only one that worked with the, the stock GS bars without having to buy, you know, tour tech bars and all that kind of stuff or alt rider bars. Now, if you have a GS, not an adventure, this will cut your time in half because you don't have to worry about any of the crash bars because they don't come with that. So unless you've installed some on your own, um, you're looking at 20, 30 minutes aside, 45 minutes to figure out the IKEA instructions from SW Motec. In reality, this could probably be done uh, by an experienced person in hour and a half to two hours. Uh, I would give the first time or average person like me budget three hours, uh, which includes, you know, coffee breaks and stuff like that. That's how to remove the lower crash bars on a BMW GS 1200 Adventure, as well as uh, how to install the SW Motec cylinder head guards. One last thing I forgot to mention is make sure you hit like and subscribe, pass the word. Thank you. Uh, everything is hand tight and then we just, we'll go. To the uh, torque specs and uh, <laughs> I thought I had some blood on my lip, but apparently it's, uh, it was red Loctite, which you quickly realize is not blood. Uh, little 
a little bitter if you've never consumed red Loctite, which I wouldn't recommend. And on one side note, as I'm working on the bike here in my backyard, my trusty sidekick dozer is constantly on the alert to make sure I don't get attacked by a bunny rabbit or a coyote. So he's been sitting there this whole time on guard.